more 3D scanning action in this video, this time with the Revo Point range scanner. This was very kindly sent to me by uh, Revo Point to do a video review on. You may have seen my previous video on the uh, Revo Scan Mini. Well, the range is for scanning larger objects. And we'll even scan a car in the right conditions. Just doing a bit of an unboxing here. Got the, all the necessary leads. Very useful little mini tripod that uh, has got height extension on it, which is very useful when you're scanning, so you can scan at different heights to gain the full scan. And uh, you also get this uh, phone holder for mobile scanning and a power pack or hand grip. There is actually a lithium battery in that, rechargeable, so it can be powered separate to a, a laptop. And there's the scanner itself. Much bigger, because it scans a larger area at once. The tripod clips onto the bottom there. You can remove that uh, mount and put it on an ordinary tripod if you want, on a normal photographic tripod. So I'm going to connect this lead. This goes into the back of the scanner and you've got a little screw fitment there just to make sure it's really secure, it's not going to pop out. And that's a USB and it very handily comes with this USB-C adapter which I need for my MacBook. I didn't get the turntable with this, uh, so I'm making my own out of one of my display turntables and a piece of MDF. And there's this very large wood carving I've had for quite a few years. It's an Indonesian carving of an African elephant. I didn't carve it, although I did carve the tusks because the originals weren't very good. There's the scanner in situ all connected to my MacBook and I'm running the new Revo Scan 5 which is in beta mode at the moment. And there's the elephant rotating round. Just making sure that I've got the distance correct. It does show you whether you're at the correct distance on the software. Just speeding it up a little bit here. You can see the dogs running in and out of the kitchen. And here's a look at that Revo Scan 5, and we're starting the scan. I was very impressed with how this kept track. There was no jumping really, it just kept track very nicely and got very good scan results with every scan just about. The one thing I did find was that you did need to use a bit of scanning spray if you really wanted to get a lot of detail. Some objects will require more than others. The tusks on this elephant were slightly uh, too shiny so they didn't come out very well. But I did later go back and give this uh, a thorough spray with the scanning spray. I wish I'd done that straight away actually because it would have speeded up the whole process. Most of these uh, 3D scanners don't like dark or shiny objects. The scanning spray makes them all white and matte. So here I'm just uh, doing the point cloud fusion using the auto edit function at this point. The processing times are very quick using this software. There we go, so I've scanned the lower half. I then uh, lifted the scanner up higher to scan the upper half. Don't try and get the whole thing scanned in one go. It's very tricky to do. And with this software, it's so easy to merge scans. 
So just do several scans, keep them all separate and merge them at the end. So fusing the point cloud again, here I've positioned the scanner up over it so that I can scan the top of the object. So just fusing the point cloud and then here I'm selecting which of the scans I want to merge. You can select several and merge them all at once, but I think you're probably better doing them two at a time. And it merged them very nicely, just automatically. I didn't have to do any point alignment at all. But you can see there's a few uh, missing bits. So here's the scanning spray. I'm using AppLime. It's slightly cheaper than the ASUB and it's a bit more readily available in this country. But you put quite a generous spray of it on there. And you wait for a few minutes and it sort of frosts up as it the as it evaporates it becomes a sort of a frosty matte white. On semi-porous stuff like this elephant it will take a while for the spray to disappear, several hours. But it does disappear, it doesn't ruin your piece at all. But there you go, you can see now I've got the tusks and all the other areas in, now I've sprayed it. Here I'm just uh, checking out for isolated bits, islands of scan and deleting those. Because you will get some artefacts and some background bits scanned in by accident. And here I'm constructing the mesh. So there you go. Well, it's looking good. Very pleased with that. This is Mesh Mixer which is free software and this is brilliant for analyzing your 3d models to make sure there's no faults in them and for editing them and smoothing them and then we're into ultimaker cura this is the slicing software now you can see it's all ready this is the sonic pad creality sonic pad which i use to control my 3d printers I've uploaded it via Wi-Fi, so I've just got to find, there it is, you can see the thumbnail, hit print, and this is the Creality Ender 5 S1, and I'm just using some uh, PLA filament, this is Prusa PLA filament, starts with a purge line, and uh, this is the skirt, which is just sort of an outline, it, it's good for checking that everything's going down correctly. A few hours later, and then, uh-oh, we've got spaghetti. This is a fail. Some of the support structures had fallen away during printing. So there's a few uh, faults in this print. So I've re-sliced it with some custom supports added at the front. And that's looking much, much better. It's printed really nicely. I still managed to snap a tusk off though. And this is one of my favourite boots. Favourite pair of boots. These are Solivare boots. Made in England. And I've sprayed this with scanning spray. Lots of it because it's very dark and shiny. And this uh, was quite easy to scan, really. It does help having a turntable. I would love the uh, big 200 kilo capacity turntable that Revo Point make. I would love one of those. It would make scanning larger objects and people much easier. There we are, starting the boot scan. Because this is an oblong shape, the scanning distance will change from being too near to too far at times. As it rotates and the toe cap is coming nearer the scanner, it's too close to scan properly and then 
other bits are, might be too far away if you move it away so do several scans and then merge them same thing though fusing the point cloud as I said before don't try and do it all in one scan do several scans and then merge them so I'm quite pleased with how that's come out Here I've repositioned it so I get the toe cap properly scanned. Any areas that aren't scanning are probably areas that need a bit more scanning spray, so just add a bit. But think stuff like scanning spray and being selective on what you're scanning will save a lot of frustration. Don't try and scan in bright sunlight either because the infrared will upset the scanner. So this is point cloud fusion. And then we're merging. So I'm merging three scans now. And the processing times, like I say, are very quick. So that's it. Got a few areas under the laces I should have packed out before scanning, put some uh, socks in there. But I also scanned it with the boot tipped up and at various angles. And just kept adding the different scans and merging them. This is the final meshed product into mesh mixer I duplicated it mirrored it to make a pair you don't need to scan the left and the right boot and here's a filament print of the boots little mini boots this is a twizzly office chair which I'm going to use to try and scan myself because I didn't have anyone to help I've taken the scanner off the little tripod and put it on a photographic one I've even shaved my head the lengths I go to for these videos. And here we go. I scanned myself at several different heights and angles. I look very grumpy, but that was my most uh, consistent face. So I had to try every scan, I had to try and be in exactly the same posture. You can do colour scans with this uh, scanner, but I'm not really interested in the texture or colour. It's I really am only interested in the three-dimensional model that you can get. And several scans later, I've uh, acquired quite a few listed there on the left. And here's the final meshed model. And it's looking quite good. I think if I doused myself in flour, it might have been a bit easier, but it's come out quite well. The next job is to design a body to put the head on. I've already connected my uh, boots that I scanned onto the body I've created. And to do this, I'm using Nomad Sculpt on my iPad using my Apple Pencil. So I'm gradually building up this body. And then we add the big fat head. Well, it's all uh, looking good, although a bit creepy. I printed this in resin. And there he is, the little mini me. As I think I've said before, 3D scanning is one of my favourite aspects of 3D design and printing. I find it fascinating and great fun. This range 3D scanner from RevoPoint has proved to be very, very good. I've really enjoyed using it. Uh, it's a good complement to the Mini, the RevoPoint Mini scanner that I've got. The Mini is really good for finer details and small objects and this is good for much larger objects. You can, in theory, scan a car with this. 
Uh, I haven't tried that. You really need a large indoor space to scan a car because these work on infrared. They don't like being outside where you've got a lot of infrared interference. Uh, and you would need a lot of scanning spray. This is quite good for detail. It's not brilliant for detail. It's, uh, the better the surface of the object, the more detail you'll pick up. If you cover everything in scanning spray, then you'll get really good results. If it's a, a light coloured matte object, you'll do really well and get quite good detail. Darker, shinier objects, not so good. Um, but if you prepare the object first, you'll get good results. Don't expect it to be easy. I found it took a lot of experimenting, which 3D scanning does. They, are, they aren't easy. I've used professional 3D scanners that cost tens of thousands of pounds. And even those, there's a fine art to it. You will need to rescan and rescan. It will take time. You will need some patience. Don't expect miracle results straight away. Although I have to say that this maintained scanning uh, throughout very well. It didn't lose track. It kept on track all the while. I'm not sure whether that's because of the scanner or the new software, the new Revo Scan 5, which is in beta or beta version at the moment, is really, really good and it simplifies the whole scanning process massively. It increases the speed of your workflow significantly. Before, I used to do several scans and then export them from Revo Scan into Revo Studio and then merge them and process them there. This it's all in one app or piece of software. So you can do multiple scans and then merge the ones you want and do all the processing all in the one piece of software. The processing times are much, much quicker and the merging times are quicker. Everything is really, really good. The automatic merging seems to work better. Uh, I'm certainly very, very impressed with it. I don't know if it is the new software that helps with the tracking and everything, but certainly worked very, very well for me. It's really nice being able to list a whole load of scans off the one object, pick and choose the ones you want to process and merge, and you get really good results. But you will need some patience and you need to experiment a little bit. But I was very, very pleased with the results I got in the end. Uh, yeah, the scan of my head was a bit more tricky. I didn't get any decent footage of that, but really all I did was well, shave my head completely first because it, it makes it easier. But I then sat myself on a, an office chair and spun myself round because I didn't have any, anyone to help me that day. And I did manage to scan my head myself, uh, which I was quite pleased about. But it was tricky. I just didn't realise how uh, fat and ugly I was. But there we are. Uh, here's a little mini me, 3D printed. Freaked my wife out. Uh, I did start to print a bigger version, but it was taking too long and it was going to be too freaky. So there we are. There's my boots, my Solivair boots that I scanned in the video. Really uh, cool result. But thank you very much to Revo Point for sending that to me. Really good bit of kit. And follow the links in the description. And I shall be back soon with some more videos. More rubbish coming soon.